But is there a sense of uh, urgency among hotels to do deals, uh, Monty? Some saying, you know, the rise of Airbnb means that size and scale is of benefit for the, for the hotel industry. I is that some of the reason, Monty, we're seeing this big, big jump in M&A in the industry? I think you're seeing it from pressure from not only uh, Airbnb, but also from the online travel agents as well. But uh, Airbnb has, uh, is really just a reservation system for illegal commercial hotels. Uh, a study just came out uh, from a Penn State that says that 70% of the revenues come from these illegal commercial hotel operators that will take 10 or 12 apartment units, uh, link them together, and run it as a hotel. Uh, we're all for the sharing economy and uh, where it's uh, mom and pops uh, uh, renting out a bedroom or two, but uh, that's not what's going on with Airbnb. Uh, these illegal commercial hotels are popping up everywhere. They uh, are not necessarily safe places uh, to stay. They don't follow the laws. Many times they, uh, they don't uh, pay their share of taxes, and that's what's impacting uh, the industry, and needs to be stopped, frankly. Uh, but, I mean, they've grown to what, a company that's over $25 billion in value, don't you think, if they were you know, majority uh, run by these illegal operators that somebody down the road would try to stop them on a, grand, on a grander scale? I think so, and I think that's happening. You're starting to see legislation across the country uh, start to put a stop to it because they are illegal commercial hotels, and they're being run like hotels, and we think they should follow the same rules that hotels do, be zoned properly, follow the, uh, the, the same uh, health and safety standards, and pay taxes like uh, traditional hotels do.